I came across a um, piece of news, I guess. It was about a spore or a seed that was found in an Egyptian tomb. And it had been there for 3,000 years. And uh, biologists brought it up from the tomb, and um, it sprouted. And there was something about that that really blew my mind. That that seed existed in that darkness, waiting in some marvelous state of neither here nor there for that light and the fertility of earth in, to, to, to rise up and become alive. And I feel that in some ways that's true of all of our thoughts, that's true of all of our, our expression, that it starts in the darkness. And that's one of the themes that we've been talking about over the last week, is, this, is the sense of darkness from which things arise, the, the, the sense that you know, the womb is a dark place. Under the ground is a dark place, but it's not the kind of darkness that we need to be afraid of. It's a kind of richness. It's filled with the collective unconscious. It's filled with all potential beauty. That's what inspired this poem, is the notion that in the darkness, that miracle exists in, in life and in our, in our souls as well. In the tomb, a living death quiets the bosom. Nestled and interred, suspended at peace, canny in inert disguise, swaddled, embraced, moist with spiritual honey, invisible showers of milk, laying cool and buried, an afterthought, a forgotten refrain. Until across an immediate universe silent obsidian lightning strikes and a seed syllable tone echoes in the stillness. The true resurrection, the tide turns and an ocean chorus howling becomes vitality, the holiest of holies. No need for icon or idol. A thought that hasn't moved for millennium rustles, spiraling in go golden ratios untangling one atomic barn-dancing moat, flying about in rapture, in morphous ecstasis, threatening to revive the pharaoh and his consorts, ringing up the buried bones of servants and troops, calling priests to dine, with long-forgotten guttural curses and chants, primordial physical urges, gyration and vibration. It stirs, exploding with the resonance of what can only be original love, with neutrinos whispering secret nothings, belting out quantum arias, enveloped in embryonic bliss without tangible light. This is the carrier wave that will beam us up, Scotty. Set the madding crowd a twitter, awe expanding upwards and outwards with that essence held like the last cinder, the first fire. The holiest of holies, no need of icon or idol. Bathed in sacred molecules, sanctified by the mantle and core, Gaia now aglow, aware as a precious memory of the secret scent of a rose. All abstraction unnecessary, pure decoration. The only all-encompassing reality is to be, to begin. Can you even imagine, best beloved, the first living moment after timelessness in the crypt, the dance of the seven veils revealing infinity in the minute, all remains to be. Germinated with unexplainable antecedents, obsidian lightning, maple sap. How can we not speechlessly marvel caught in our subconscious webs as orgasms push the green nipple above the crust, Zarathustra writing haikus, a rhyme of Sino, no need of icon or idol, no instruction or punishing lacks, the only work left to be, to grow. O oh, best beloved, the seed, the germ, the chromosome, the holiest of holies, all begins in darkness. 
a rhyme of sinew, no need for icon or idol, no instruction or punishing lack, the only work left to be, to grow. Oh, best beloved, the seed, the germ, the chromosome, the holiest of holies, all begins in darkness.